Hello and welcome to the unboxing of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Remastered Yellow Ranger. Well, I also got blue. Um, those two were in the mail today. I totally forgot that I pre-ordered those. I have the entire Mighty Morphin Rangers on my shelf, but yeah, they look nice uh, from the pictures I've seen. Um, they come in this plastic free packaging. We will take a look at yellow first and Blue, well, Billy in a different video, first 20, ladies first. And what can I say? Um, why did I get these? Um, as I said, they look nice. And I hope they are. Also, for me in Germany, the price is always the biggest point or one of the biggest points. And for what they are and what they come with, I expected them to be a, at a deluxe price point a really high one around about 45 dollars ish if you convert that to dollars instead of euros and they came um, around about the same price in, in the us they came i think the us are like 33 34 dollars and germany um around about 36 euros so that's roughly 30 36 dollars if you convert that so i was fine with those and in the end, what Hasbro is promising with these, looks-wise, that's what I actually wanted from the get-go for the Mighty Morphin Rangers. I will tell you uh, in a bit after I got these out of the box. Um, I'm still not the biggest fan, as most of, like, with this plastic free stuff. I can get the idea, save the environment and everything, that's fine. I'm absolutely onto that, but... Um, yeah, these boxes look nice. They look better than the normal Lightning Collection Plastic Free boxes. Uh, this design, pretty cool, 30th anniversary, that's also a thing like I want that. Um, I'm not sure, I mostly throw these Plastic Free stuff out now. I might keep those, I'm not sure on those. Um, you can see on the back as with all of what you get, you get the entire figure, you get two extra pairs of hands, so you get a total of three each, left and right. You get the Power Daggers, you get the Morpher, you get a helmet, the head scope, of course, um, and the blade blasters, and then the pack piece. Um, also, with Kree, I like the design of her civilian appearance. That really got me. It's sort of like I want that figure. Um, yeah, pretty nice here. You can see Mighty Morphin, everything pretty nicely done. Um, this artwork is pretty cool. As I said, I'm not the biggest fan of these plastic three, but the boxes here, they improved. Uh, I said that in the past, if Hasbro would actually use some energy that they put into the boxes, to put that energy in the quality control of the figures, that would help out a bunch. So if anybody from Hasbro might see this video, the channel is pretty small still. Um, thank you for every support that I can get, but if for whatever coincidence someone from Hasbro sees this and listens, that would be pretty nice and crazy. Um, other than that, I blab too much as always we take a quick break here a, a quick cut uh, and i get the figure out of the box and we compare her to well the basic uh, uh, one i have uh, the basic is wrong the, the first edition i have from whatever way that was i forgot what was. but that that been a while so see you in a bit okay i'm done with unboxing so we have both twinnies on the turntable. The new one is a different yellow. This is, I don't know, because I have her a while now, if this is just because of the time I have her that it aged a bit and it got darker, I really cannot tell. This is lighter, this is more of like a kind of a neon yellow, um, but makes no difference. Looks pretty good in both ways. Um, her uh, head sculpt, this one, um, the first one we have here, it's still in box. That that was a pretty good Trini for for begin with, and I don't check reviews on these figures in the remastered version, but um, for Trini, pretty good. First, um, everything's there. The the legs, no shakiness. Um, you can feel. There's a slight looseness to it, really, really tiny. But other than that, steady. Uh, she has the morpher, which she can hold. Uh, 
And I really like the design with her uh, ponytails. There's no scratch, nothing. Um, as I said, this is what all fans and me, of course, wanted to begin with. Like, really nicely detailed paint, the black outlines here on, on the holster and on the belt and everything. Um, the quality is pretty good on my figure. I don't know if, if that's the case on all remastered figures. I hope that has finally improved on those figures. But yeah, that's good. I can't complain about this one. Not at all. Nothing wrong. I, I just have to try and get the head sculpt off and get the helmet on. That's also pretty nice. I think the helmet improved from style a bit. Um, there were some issues with other Ranger helmets, especially like red and blue was a bit, but black and yellow was pretty decent from the start with. I don't know, we in a sec. From far, that's a bit, a bit dumb. Color-wise, different, but I think lighting a bit bad at the moment, sorry. I don't really, really see a difference besides I think the eyes of the tiger. This one's a bit wider, the new one. A bit weird, I'm setting aside the camera. This one is a bit wider. Not much, but as I said, the the yellow one was good for begin with. I really like this design of um, of this effect piece. I seen that on Dragon Ball figures. I don't collect those, but I I like Dragon Ball. I like anime. I seen those. And I'm like, oh, I want that for Power Rangers. Now we have that. Um, okay, head sculpt gone off pretty decent, pretty good. Uh, just one straight pull. As I said, the head sculpt in general pretty nice. And now let's see if I can get the helmet on because it was always the thing. Okay, this is the new one of the newer neck joints that's in there. I hope it doesn't snap. That will be the big bummer. Nope. It looks like like a long neck. What's that? Okay. One moment. Better. Yeah. It's on there. Why is the lighting so weird and like, like bright today? Sorry. So. Pretty decent. Um, everything, as I said, is there. The hands are there in the correct hands as well. Light blasters in their different modes. Color is pretty good. I think they improved on the color on these. They look a bit more like shiny and like really like a really good finish. Even the silver in here is nice. Um, normally the old ones. Where is it? I don't have one here. Wait. The old ones always looked a bit weird. Like matte paint and oh, she doesn't oh, she doesn't even come with one, right? Oh no, I'm dumb, it's in her holster. Okay, Kratos. Fine. First look then talk. Here, you can see. Focus camera. This one's not as nice. Missing a bit of silver paint. It's it's just gray, like 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 just white and red. Come on. The new one is way nicer. 
They really improved on that. So you stay. I give you a spin. I hope the turntable doesn't make too much noise because it's a bit squeaky. It's the light up feature. Pretty cool. So, and can use it for the turntable. So this is like lit up a bit. And I have to change the room light because for whatever reason it's really bright in here. I will correct that in post. Eh, that wasn't a bad idea. It was a bad idea here. Wait. Eh. It's better without it. Uh, I just give you another spin and some final thoughts. Um it's good. The one I have is really good. I have no complaints at all. I'm really happy that I got it. And I really, really hope that Hasbro improves on all figures and bumps up like the quality control because that's necessary. We have good examples like this figure and like in Space Silver and past figures like the Tenga and stuff. Or like latest unboxing I've done before one of these is Snizzer. Um These figures are great. I didn't have any complaints about that. I didn't heard about complaints like quality wise on these. And they they are they are amazing. They are there's a great color on them, there's no effects, nothing. And the other way around, we then have figures like Time Force Blue, which is all over the place and screwed. Or like Wild Force Luna Wolf, which is also hardware like with the boots but we talked about that enough in the past. but in the end as i said i really hope this is not just only my figure here just it's entirely the the entire figure line of remastered or in other new stuff which will be coming and if Hasbro keeps up the good work with this line can be really great again dumb wording sorry um but yeah if you like Mighty Morphin and the missing figures, get that. I know that they teased the others. There at least will be four more. So red, black, green, and pink. I'm really hyped for green because it's my favorite. And I will get the complete set. And yeah, I will swap out my uh, season one with these entirely when I have them uh, on my display. And I will have a season two display when I, when I, have, I had some extra because we had doubles in the past because of two packs like scorpion on yellow for example but i was missing a blue and if i had the blue the with the correct stripes and everything on the belt that would be really weird on the shelf so one team goes on one shelf the others will fill up ranks um and yeah pretty nice pretty happy to get it for a decent price especially in germany um hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching we see you in the next one